three months since my dad was hospitalized. I will go to the hospital today to visit him. But first of all, I will go and make sure that everything is going perfectly in his business. Let's go. I absolutely have to be able to convince my customers to buy our company's products. Hi, colleague. Hi. It was to find out if customers accepted to pay for our products. They haven't accepted yet, but I'm in the middle of negotiations right now. However, don't worry because I know how to convince them. Okay. And your father's health? He is much better by the grace of God. All right. I'm going to leave. Okay, say hello to your dad from the whole team. I will do it. I have a proposal for you. I am listening to you. If your father doesn't mind, I can call my brothers in Christ to come and pray for him. Please spare me your prayer story, because my father has enough money to take care of himself. I am leaving now. Okay, bye. Bye. I hope that my dad's health has improved a lot and that he will be back soon to take care of his business. Alright, I am going to see him. Hello dad. Hello my son. So dad, is your health improving? Not really. You know what? Take good care of your mom and the business. But dad, why are you telling me that? I say that because I know that at any moment, I could pass from life to death. No, dad don't say that. You know the doctor told me that I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and it was these two diseases that also ruined my dad live at this time. Unfortunately, he did not survive and here we are today with these same diseases. Many people have died as a result of these diseases, including our family. That's why I tell you to take care of your mother and everything because at any moment something could happen to me. But we have lots of money. On top of that, you're in one of the best hospitals in the country. You are receiving quality care. I think you're going to be fine. Maybe you're right. Dad, what do you have there? I'm going to call the doctor quickly. I hope he will be fine. So doctor, is my dad better? I'm sorry to tell you that your father didn't survive. Despite all the efforts we made to reanimate him. No, 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 don't tell me that, please. I am very sorry, sir. It has now been over three years since my husband left this world. Today, I would say take a look at his company to find out a bit more about how it works. I am sure that my son will be so happy to see me. I am a bit tired today. However, this morning, I was in good shape before coming to the office. Enter. Are you okay, son? What are you doing here, mom? I came to see how you run your dad's business. Yes, I know. I'm happy to see you though. Mom, I feel very tired. All of a sudden. I'm going to take you to the hospital, because what's happening is not normal at all. No, mom. It's going to pass. Plus, I have a very important meeting today. What do you say, my son? Health is above all. The meeting can wait. I don't want to lose these big markets. My son, even if we lose this market, it's not a big deal. I must take you to see a doctor at all costs. Okay, mom. I'll go tell the secretary that I'm leaving. All right, I'm leaving. Oh yeah. You have an extremely important appointment today. Yes, you will replace me. Because I have to go see your doctor as soon as possible. Do you have a problem? I am very tired. That is why I am going to see your doctor with my mother. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Come on, let's go. Yes, mom. Hope there is nothing serious about you. I hope so too. So doctor, what do I have? I am sorry to tell you that you have high blood pressure and diabetes. Why are you crying? Doctor, it was these two diseases that caused my father and grandfather to die. Here we are also suffering from these two diseases. Please, doctor, help me. I don't want to end up like my dad. I understand what is going on. Oh yeah. So you're going to heal me then? You know what? 
Me, I can't heal you. How is that? How can you speak like that? You're a great doctor? It is true that I am a doctor. However, I can only treat you. However, I know someone who could heal you. In that case, take me back to this person's house. Besides, what is the name of this great doctor who will be able to heal me? This doctor is called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What? And yes, sir, I can treat you. On the other hand, only the Lord Jesus Christ can heal you. Are you sure? I am sure. Are you a Christian? Yes. I can't believe that I have the same illnesses that my dad and my grandfather once had. However, I have a tidy life and I pay a lot of attention to my diet. Those who come to you are spiritual and you must give your life to Christ because these diseases are a kind of curse on your family. Oh yeah, but how do you cancel this curse? If you want, I could pray for you. Do you want me to pray for you? Yes, I want. But what is going on with my son? It seems that the doctor is praying for him instead of caring for my son of love. He is praying for him. He will hear me, this doctor. Eternal Father, I glorify you infinitely for the life of your son. Thank you for the grace in his life. Oh my God, I implore your mercy on his life. Please, Lord, forgive him for his sins and may he be sanctified by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Take pity on him and heal your son. You are rich in kindness. Lord Jesus, during your life on earth, with compassion for the sufferings of men, you have restored health to the sick and brought joy to their families. On the Golgotha cross, you had erased the act who's condemned your son and which persisted against him. I rely on your words and I have faith that your son has been healed from any illness that he inherited from his parents. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Have faith that Jesus Christ has already healed you and you will see the miracle in your life. Thanks a lot. You are going to take your exams again to see the miracle of God. Agree. Bye, doctor. As I said, this is what happened. My son, if the results of the exams you had just taken came out and you no longer had these diseases in you, I promise you that I would also give my life to the Lord Jesus Christ, because these diseases are evil. Several members of the family have been devastated by this disease. It was because of this that I decided not to have a lot of children. Is that why I am your only son? Yes, my son. It was also for this reason that I did not want you to get married because I knew that sooner or later, you would also have this disease. We have so much money, but we still can't heal our family members. I really don't know that is why I told you that if Jesus Christ healed and that I would give my life to him forever. All right, mom. We're going home. Perfect, mom. The hospital transferred my results to me. The results are negative. Mom, mom. Come to see please. Yes, son. What do you have? Are the results negative? Mom, Jesus Christ healed me. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am very happy. From today, my life will belong to Christ because he had just performed a great miracle. I will go to see the doctor to give him my testimony. Agree. If my husband had known Jesus Christ, maybe he would still be alive. However, I thank God for my son's miracle. Wow, it felt like I was in a dream. If I knew, I should have listened to my father's secretary when she suggested bringing the Christian's brothers back for prayer and being very ignorant at the time. Unfortunately, I turned down his proposal because I trusted our wealth in the doctors. So now my dad is no longer in this world. Hello, doctor. Hello, I had just received your results. And yes, me too. That's why I came to see you. I wanted to thank you for everything you did for me. I am just a tool that God has used for you. So give all the glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us attach ourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ. For it is written in Corinthians chapter 5 verses 17 that, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. 
the old things are gone. Here all things have become new. It is also written in chapter 2 verses 13 to 15. You who were dead by your sins and by the circumcision of your flesh, he has brought you back to life with him by thanking us for all our sins. He erased the act whose ordinances condemned us and which persisted against us, and destroyed it by nailing it to the cross. He conquered the dominations and the authorities and put them on a public show by triumphing over them by the cross. The Lord Jesus Christ redeemed us from death to life and healed us with his blood and delivered us from every family and ancestral curse. Let us have faith in him and walk on his commandments so that we can finally benefit from his grace and his fullness. Oh my God, I thank you for the great love you have for us by sending your only son to deliver us from every curse. May your name be raised. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed Amen. So dear brothers and sisters, that will be all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to like it, comment on it and share it with those around you so that only one soul will be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you and protect you.